Good morning, everyone. This is probably the toughest live broadcast I've ever done. But it's because it's very likely my last. Winston Sears, the new lieutenant governor of Virginia, a black lady, won the election along with another Republican last week in Virginia. Winston Sears said this, whatever you want to be, be it. Folks, I'm leaving Facebook. This broadcast, like I said, it's not an easy one. I'm, I have really struggled with this decision. This one I'm not making lightly. It will be some, it will be broadcasted as well on my business page on here. And it will also be broadcast on Rumble and on YouTube. I've not made this decision lightly. And I know there's a handful of people, especially a couple in particular, that are not happy with my decision. But it's needed. And I am not, I, I'm, I'm not playing around anymore. I've taken breaks on Facebook over the years. I've done my best to keep my post on here free from censorship. But that ultimately, that's one of the reasons I'm leaving. I have been on Facebook since 2007 or 2008. I don't remember how long I've been on here. I know it's pretty close to the beginning of it. But it has become a platform I can't support. I am a conservative Christian. I have made over 2,000 friends on Facebook. I only actually connect with about maybe 10% of them. But nonetheless, I pray for all of my friends every day. And that won't change. Why am I leaving face? Why am I doing this? As I was thinking about this broadcast, I thought about luck. I thought a lot of things I could say that are fa that are actually facts, but they're not. But they're not approved. And like I said, that's why we're still leaving. Problem number one. I don't agree with the censorship of conservatives. This platform, NBC, ABC, CBS, are all in the same category. They are all fake. Everyone wants to only tell the truth. It's just wrong. They are all spreading a false narrative and they're calling those of us who tell the truth well, that what we're saying is lying. It's wrong. I'm fighting back tears right now because I I don't really want to be doing what I'm doing. I've got a lot of very good friends on here. I've got some communities on here that I am very much connected to like rank makers and my private business groups. I'm invested in these groups. I have poured my heart into them. I've gained friends on here. I've lost friends on here. Some to death. Others because they're leaving the same reason I am. And now Zuckerberg has gone and changed the platform name to Meta, which actually means death. I can't be connected to that. I'm way too pro-life. I'm way too anti-abortion. Problem number two. And this is a part that's going to probably get censored on here on Facebook. But it's also why I'm reposting it elsewhere. Medical disinformation. I am a believer in holistic medicine. When your mind, body, and spirit are, in, are working together, you're healthier. You can't have a healthy 
body without a healthy mind. You can't. It's not possible. I am not an anti-vaxxer. But with that being said, I am anti-COVID vaccine. I am anti, I am against it. I do not see a need for a vaccine that not, for a vast majority of people who are, who have a 99% recovery rate. Five to 12 year olds, frankly, don't get, if they get COVID, it's so minor, they recover from it quicker than the most adults. They don't need that damn vaccine. They don't need it. And for this drug company to go and say the five to twelve girls can get it, can take it safely? No, they can't. They can't. We are destroying our children. And it's bought and it's it's one reason I'm leaving this platform. These mandates the Biden is putting out are anti constitutional. They go against the Constitution. We have sovereignty over our own bodies. Look at the Constitution. Look at the Declaration of Independence. Go talk, go follow Chris Ann Hall, Juris Doctor, a lawyer, who is a constitutional attorney. Who is a constitutional attorney? She is telling the truth. And she's being censored on here because of it. She's being censored on multiple platforms because of her willingness to tell the truth. <sighs> Problem number three. This is the third reason. This is the last reason I'm leaving Facebook. I used to have fun on here. Used to is the operative word. But now it's just dragging me down. And this has to end. I want to have fun on social media. Contrary to what I've been told is happening, I'm switching to TikTok. People are like, but China's spying on you there. Well, you know, the American government is spying on us here. Pick your cho pick your evil. I'm not saying any one of them is good. Not. But the reality is this. Social media should be fun. It should be a place where we can hang out with our friends. Hi Larry, thanks for jumping on. I'm also, for those of you who are not on TikTok, I'm also switching to email. I'm doing this because I want to make real connections with my friends. And face, fake book has not allowed for it to happen. I know I'm censored on here. I know that I get blacklisted at times and I don't really care anymore. Zuckerberg is a joke. He's a joker. Just like those people in Washington, D.C. right now that are so-called running our country. I was thrilled last week when I saw when I saw the Republicans take Virginia. It thrilled me, it made my heart so happy again, because it gave us hope. My handle for TikTok will be in the comments below. Now look, I am aware that I can come back, and Reggie Cochran and I have talked about it. But Reggie reminded me of something. His wife, Terry, is a, an incredibly successful leader in her own right. She's not on Facebook. What does that tell me? It's possible to be successful without using this platform. So if you want to stay connected with me, you're going to need to connect with me outside of Facebook. It takes a few days, I think, for the actual activation to take place. So you'll have a few days where you can message me via, via private messenger or whatever um, to 
to say, hey, I want to say it's magic to you. For those of you who are watching this via Rumble or YouTube, I'll post my email and TikTok links in the comments. If you're watching this on one of those platforms, email me. I really want to stay connected to my friends. And that's ultimately the reason I'm doing this, making this drastic move. Maybe someday I'll come back, but don't hold your breath. It won't be as long as it's being censored. When the censor censorship comes to an end, when people are actually allowed to, to, post, to post what they know is the truth, then, then I'll reconsider. But until that point, I'm not coming back. And this account will be deactivated. This account on my business page will also be deactivated. I'll be doing that deactivation tomorrow morning. Good luck, my friends. Please stay connected to me. If you really want to stay connected to me, we'll find a way. It goes into the fact that you can make any excuse, you can make a way. It's your choice. I'm making choices that are tough. But I'm looking forward to what the results are going to bring. God bless you.